Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. I think today I want to tackle two of the sort of smaller places. So I want to tackle this one that's basically just, it's called Almost Only a Garden, and then I think maybe we'll, tack ta we'll tackle uh, one of these other ones up here as well. But let's start with the garden one. And this is from the Garden Flipper DLC, so it's gonna. This is gonna be one that we focus on the yard, at least somewhat heavily. So let's take a look here. We've got obviously a yard <laughs> that uh, will need to be cleared out and dealt with, and then we have a, essentially like world's smallest house. So <laughs> uh, this, I think, we're basically gonna put in a bathroom and a bedroom, and that's gonna be this whole little place. But the yard, we will have a glorious garden when all is said and done. That's the plan. You know, I was thinking about it, and since we don't really do garden stuff all that often for this series, I think maybe we'll just do this one place today, but we'll focus pretty heavily on the garden, and we'll, uh, we'll do a little bit more of it together than, you know, I normally do. So I think I've cleared out all of the trash and stuff like that. I've also gone ahead and cleaned up the dirt. Uh, do these windows need to be washed? They do not. But we do need to side the house again because it's pretty bad right now. So let's just grab a little bit of uh, siding. Horizontal panels. Here we go. Let's just grab a couple of these, uh, maybe two per side will hopefully be enough. There we go. And then we'll just grab our little siding tool and we can start putting these in. Now, the one up here is a little tricky to reach. You can't actually reach it from the ground. You can see, can't quite reach it. But if you stand on top of one of the siding panels, then you can just reach it. So, <laughs> little, uh, pro tip, I guess. But anyway, we'll get this all sided up, and then afterwards, once this part is done, then I think I'm going to focus on getting the house part done first, just because it's all, you know, pretty small, pretty straightforward, and shouldn't take us too much time. All right, that thing's all done. I think before I tackle that, though, I think I do want to go ahead and mow the lawn. And we'll just get that taken care of pretty quickly as well. Now, the whole thing here is that uh, this is not exactly uh, a great lawn. As you can see, there's giant dirt patches and stuff like that everywhere. So that's a little less than ideal, but it'll be fine. We'll just uh, end up filling those in later with our own stuff. So for now, I'm just going to kind of work on getting what's actually here, all mowed and trimmed so that we can kind of see uh, what we're working with and get the, the nice thing about the lawnmower as well, I should mention, is that the lawnmower automatically gets rid of things like weeds. So rather than having to go through and manually weed every single thing from the garden, you can just run it over the lawnmower and then it's good to go which is a pretty huge time saver. And the lawnmower, as of some update, I'm not sure exactly when this change was made, but it didn't used to be like this. The lawnmower can also go through trees and uh, solid objects. So you can basically just quickly run your way around the yard and get everything all mowed, and it pretty much takes care of the whole lawn for you, uh, just with one simple tool, which is pretty sweet. All right, there we go. Now that I have everything all mowed, and one level of grass, don't worry, we'll worry about the giant gaping holes in just a moment here. But first, I think I want to tackle this tiny little house. So we already did the siding, that's no problem. Uh, now we just need to do the inside, and this should, again, be pretty easy. Let's just go with a nice, simple wooden floor. Maybe something like that, that should work. Uh, walls. Let's just go with a nice white, uh, let's go, well, yeah, medium might be enough. I mean, it is a really small room. This might be fine. But let's go ahead and paint this. There we go, all painted. 
And looks like we get just a little dirt to clean up over here. Piece of cake, nice and easy. And then we're gonna need a bathroom. So, uh, let's see. Two, three, four. Maybe we go to like about here. And then out. Yeah. Maybe we make this side the bathroom, actually. Like, is that big enough for a shower? Probably not. Let's go maybe like here. Get rid of that. And we'll say... Where do we want the door? Do we want it on this side? Probably not. We probably want to be able to use... Well, maybe. Then this could be like a kitchen. There's... Then there's like no room for... This is such a small space. I think we will have to go with a smaller bathroom. So we're going to end up with a bathroom this big. <laughs> which is super tiny, but that's fine. Uh, one, two, three, four... Let's say door goes here. So that'll be our bathroom door. And then we go like that. Bust that out. There we go. Okay. So that... <laughs> oh, this room is going to be... I, we need a shower plumbing system. How in the world are we going to fit an actual bathroom in here. There's just no way. Unless I, like, dedicate half the, the house to a bathroom. Wow. Let me sort this out. I'll be back in a sec. Okay. After some trial and error, I think I have it figured out. So we can fit a relatively small hanging sink in right here because ultimately this is still going to be somebody's home so they do need a place to shower and they do need a place to sleep so we'll get a small sink in right there and then we'll get a toilet we can fit one just barely right here and then we'll switch to a <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we'll switch to a tiled floor. We'll just go like white ceramic tiles. Just real simple. And then for a door, I'm just going to go with a white interior door. Doesn't have to be anything ridiculous, but there we go. That way we fit everything we need. So then we just need toilet, paper holder. Put that there. We need a mirror. Uh, something like this one, maybe? Put that there. This is like world's smallest bathroom. <laughs> it's actually awful. <laughs> but, you know, you make do with what you got. So we'll have to make it work. Put a hanging towel there. And then I need a towel rack that we'll put, I guess, here, because there's nowhere else to put it. So this is our bathroom. And then we just need a light. Uh, just give me a ceiling light that we'll put, like, right there. <laughs> oh, this room. And a light switch. There we go world's smallest bathroom but by golly it's a bathroom <laughs> and it it functions okay so now we need to do the rest of this uh we're gonna go back to doors we'll go with a front door here and i'm just gonna go it's probably easier to do this from the outside just put that right there that should work Got our knocker on the right side and everything. Okay, good, good, good. So now we need a bed, and we need a very small bed. Um, 
So what have we got for like single beds? Maybe something like this? Will that fit? That will barely fit. <laughs> oh goodness. Uh, what about this one? Same size. Do we have anything that's like really... That's even wider. I need something like... Maybe something like this? Even that's like too big. <laughs> what are we supposed to do with this space? It's too small. It's so tiny. This is like smaller than a college dorm room. <laughs> oh goodness. How small is this? Um, that one might be our best bet. Like, that's pretty small, but at least we can maybe make it work. Just put it right here. It's not much, but it's something. Okay, and then desk? Is there any way that I can fit, like, a hanging desk or something in here? Not really? What if we went with, like, a uh, hanging desk 100 by 70? We could put that in here, and I might be able to get a chair that will work. Something like this. Just put that in. <laughs> you know, it it's it's gonna have to do. Uh, <laughs> and then let's just get a a double drawer thing and put that here. Like this is the world's most pitiful house and bedroom, but it has everything functionally that you need. <laughs> Oh, goodness. This is ridiculous. Uh, give me a light. And a light. And... A light switch. Put that here. Alright, there we go. World's most absurd... You know what? We can even fit in a TV. Put in a TV right here. There we go. Now you've got entertainment. What more could you possibly want? Uh, maybe some blinds for your windows. You only have like three windows, but, you know, it's fine. <laughs> there we go. One more. But I'm telling you, the, dr the people aren't going to buy this house for the house. They're going to buy this house for the wonderful garden that we're going to put in. <laughs> you know, we could probably fit a bookshelf over here, too we go with the really thin bookshelf. Look at that. We even managed to fit in a bookcase. Which means I can, you know what? Let's dress the place up a little bit more. We'll give them a laptop for their desk. There we go. All right. This is the house. This is this is the house. Now it's time for the garden. So the first thing to do with the garden is to get rid of all this dirt here that we just have problems with. So the way you do that is you go in here to uh, turf and you get turf rolls and you put these down where they are needed. So for example, looks like we need one about here. You can use the mouse to increase the speed that it rolls at and you can just kind of roll it across like so. And that will essentially create grass out of nothing. Now, it is a very tedious process, and it takes forever, but that's how you do it. There, tell me that, that, tell me that doesn't look considerably better. So now we need to figure out what we're actually going to do with this space. And I think the smart thing to do is to kind of divide this up into sections and sort of figure out, um, you know, what we want to do with each section. So for example, we might say, uh, we're going to put down some stuff here and this area is going to be 
a pool or this area is going to be, uh, you know, whatever. And that's kind of what I think our best bet is. So let me start putting down some things and sort of playing around with some ideas. And then uh, we'll kind of decide what we want to do from there. OK, I've been working on this for a while and I think I've got some areas kind of figured out. So over here, we're going to have a pool area, which I've already sort of started. Pools in this game are really tedious to put in in like a, a precise way and in a way that looks good. So there's a good like 15 to 20 minutes of me just finagling with the pool and trying to get the pool <laughs> to go where I wanted it to go. So that was kind of a pain, but that's why I did that part off camera. Um, but then over here, I think this is going to be kind of like a little barbecue area. We'll put like a picnic table and maybe a grill over here. And then if we follow this path around and over, we'll have like a gazebo kind of over here, I think. Uh, and then I do want to still have like a, a bit of a yard. I may even take out some of these trees just so there's, you know, like uh, a yard where maybe you could like throw around a football or a frisbee or something like that with friends. So maybe we'll just take out just a couple of these to give us some nice kind of space. Um, I mean, that's probably enough, honestly. That gives us this whole area right here, which is a pretty big chunk of yard. Uh, so I think that'll work. Let's start over here, though, with the uh, the barbecue area. Uh, if we look at this, uh, we got some options. I know there is like a proper picnic table in here somewhere. Um, I'm not exactly sure where it is, though. I probably scrolled right past it and didn't even see it. There we go. Picnic table. And let's go like uh, maybe oak. That seems to be about the right color. Let's just put that like here. Actually, let's put it on the other side. Let's put it over here more. And then let's get like a grill. So we'll just get a, a grill and put that maybe over here. And then get a pizza stove and put that bad boy like right there. So that way we've got kind of like this nice little sort of grilling area over here, which I think is going to be quite nice. Uh, now, as for the pool area, this is pretty much good to go. Uh, we'll need a little bit more decorations, but we've got, you know, sun chairs and stuff like that. So that's all fine. The gazebo is going to be a little tricky, though, because we need to go to structures and we need to look at gazebos, and we need a proper... How, I mean... Something like this would be fine. I'm not exactly sure where the entrance to it is, though. It looks like right here. And then centering it is going to be kind of a pain, because, like, that's not centered. Uh, can I pick it back up? No, I cannot. So, <laughs> yeah, you can see this thing is going to be kind of a nightmare to actually get put down properly. Although maybe we'll go with this instead. This might be a bit easier. We can just put that like right about there. That does appear to be relatively centered. I think I like this better. And then we'll put some benches and stuff like that underneath it, obviously. But this will give us kind of this nice large overhead covering over here, which I think will be great. And then let's just go furniture, uh, sofas, some sort of like outdoor sofa, something like this would be really nice. Uh, can we fit two of these? Maybe? Eh, not really. I could if I put them this... Actually, maybe we can. If I put this one right here, which is... Eh, I gotta scoot it in just a little bit more. Probably about there. And then we put another one right... there. Give or take, although it looks like I gotta... Kind of scoot that over there. Is that better? Yep, that's lined up right. 
And then could we fit one more right here? Oh, we totally can. Um, so we do it like this and then scoot this one back just like that much. Uh, even even less actually. We scoot it to right there. So that gives us three sofas that are all sort of lined up, although this one's not really underneath the shade. Uh, but we could maybe remedy that by just kind of scooting it over as far as it will go this way. And then scooting this one forward. So there it's lined up, and there we go. There, and now it's basically all underneath the shade. And then we just need a table to go with it. And some sort of large round table I think would be good, or, or just go with this. This is actually the one that matches. Uh, yeah, sure, that works. So there we go, we got kind of a nice outdoor gazebo sitting area over here, which I think is pretty cool. Okay, cool. So now I'm just gonna start putting down some plants and doing some more decorations, and uh, we'll see what we come up with. All right, guys, I am back. I've done some stuff. I put in some uh, coniferous shrubs and things like that. Uh, added in a couple of other random little bits like this uh, wooden swing and stuff like that. But overall, I've been thinking about it, and I don't really want to do too much more with this garden. I mean, as I said, I want to have a large lawn space. Um, and we've got some areas kind of divided up, the grill and the outdoor patio and stuff. Uh, but other than that, like, there's not really a whole lot more here that I want to do. And the other thing, too, is that this is such a tiny house that because the, um, because the garden only adds on, like, a percentage value of the selling price of the house, <laughs> Um, I don't know that spending a ton of a ton of time and money on this is really going to be worth it from like a gameplay perspective. Not that I really care that much about the gameplay side of it as far as the money goes. I mean, we've got 1.6 million dollars, so I don't really care that much. But either way, I think I'm pretty happy with how this all turned out. And like we got to kind of mess around with some stuff that uh, you haven't really seen me mess around with on camera much anymore. So let's go ahead and submit it for the garden contest and sell it. Looks like we've got uh, decent points, not a whole lot equipment left. Huh? I don't know what that's from, but whatever, it's fine. So all of that work on the garden, the thousands of dollars that we spend on like the pool and stuff like that, 18% uh, added value. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> so, yeah, whatever. Uh, all right, let's give a hit. Let's give this a try. So it looks like we have a grand total of about 50,000 into this house. And we're going to make very little. We're going to make maybe like 10,000 on it, which is not great. Okay, well, we did better than I expected, and we got some from the garden, so all right, we made about 30,000. I suppose it could be worse, but either way, I will accept. I'm fine with it. You know, it's such a terrible picture. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a decent transformation. I want to get one where I'm really feeling inspired about the garden. This one just wasn't doing it for me. Um, it had a lot of space, but... Too much, uh, too much space can be hard to deal with. Because you don't want it to just be, like, super clustered and crazy either. So, wasn't really exactly what I was looking for, but that's fine. It was a, it was a decent little episode. You know, tiny little house, giant yard. <laughs> well, what can you say? Anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.